our incense to the Lord. Every prayer, every praise, every lifting of the hand is an offering of is offering a stick of incense to God. So why did I struggle? The answer is a three-letter word: sin. First Kings eleven one through eight. But King Solomon loved many strange women together with the daughter of Pharaoh, women of Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Sidonians, and Hittites, of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall not go to them, neither shall they come in unto you, for surely they will turn away your heart from after their gods. Solomon clave unto these and loved, and when he had seven hundred wives, princesses, and three hundred concubines, and his wives turned away his heart, for it came to pass, when Solomon was old, that his wives turned away his heart after other gods. And his heart was not perfect with the Lord his God, as was the heart of David his father. For Solomon went after Ashtaroth, the goddess of the Zidonians, and after Milcom, the abomination of the Ammonites. And Solomon did evil in the sight of the Lord, and went not fully after the Lord as did David his father. Now Solomon, he, he was glorious at first, but he just began to oppress his people. Then did Solomon build a high place for Chemosh, the abomination of Moab, in the hill that is before Jerusalem, and for Molech, the abomination of the children of Ammon. And likewise did he, for all his strange wives, he built so many altars uh, dedicated to their gods, which for instance, in sacrifice unto their gods. So. So he just took took his dedication to from to God, and he just brought it to the other gods. Sin just loves to leak into our lives. They are slithering serpents that slip into our temples. Now Satan, he likes to sneak serpents into the packages sent to our temples that appeal to our flesh. Mm -hmm. Solomon's flesh weakness was well. Women, he had one thousand women in this one, and you know what? Many were from pagan backgrounds, if not all. Now, Solomon, he, the reason he has 1,000 women is he married the women to form treaties with the other nations. God warned against the marriage with strange and foreign spouses. Now, Paul, the Apostle Paul, he wants us to build alliances with the world and those who are not in the church. <clears throat> Second Corinthians 6, 14-18 be ye not equal, unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness? And what concord have Christ with Belial? Or what part hath he that, believe, that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement have the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, yeah. save the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, I, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, save the Lord Almighty. We have to be very wary about linking ourselves and with those in the world. We have to make sure that we have our mind made up for God, so that we may be the influencer, not right. the influencee. Right. Solomon was an influencer in his early days. Um, all the nations that he just came to him, his wisdom was so great. And, and he became the influencee when, the, uh, when he acquired 1,000 women from all kinds of places and pagan backgrounds. They swayed him over to their gods and drew him away from following the Lord God of Israel. 1 Kings 11, 29-36, Message Version. One day Jeroboam was walking down the road out of Jerusalem. Ahijah, the prophet of Shiloh, wearing a brand new cloak, met him. The two of them were alone on that remote stretch of road. Ahijah took off the, the new cloak and he, that he was wearing and ripped it into 12 pieces. That represents the 12 tribes of Israel. Then he said to Jeroboam, take 10 of these pieces for yourself. This is by order of the God of Israel. See what I'm doing? I'm ripping the kingdom out of Solomon's hands and giving you ten of the tribes in honor of my servant David and out of respect for Jerusalem. The city I especially chose, he will get on tribe. And here's the reason. He faithlessly abandoned me and went off worshiping Ashtaroth, goddess of the Sidonians, Chemosh, god of the Moabites, and Molech, god of the Ammonites. He hasn't lived the way I have shown him. 
Has it done what I have wanted? Has it followed directions or obeying orders as his father David did? Still, I want to take the whole kingdom away from him, and I'll stick with him throughout through his lifetime because of my servant David, whom I chose and who did follow my directions and obey my orders. And after that, I'll remove the kingdom from his son's control and give you ten tribes. I'll leave one tribe to his son uh, to maintain a witness to my servant David in Jerusalem, the city I chose as a memorial to my name. So our sin robs us of God's favor. It gradually takes us away from the will of God. Sin invites judgment and discipline. The whole book of Judges is in cycles. Disobedience, discipline, despair, right. deliverance. And it goes all around. So many times we find ourselves in the very same cycle. Discipline, or disobedience, discipline, despair, and deliverance. And back to disobedience. So many times we find ourselves in the very same cycle. Right now we have a grace period as Solomon had a grace period before judgment comes to pass. In the passage, the judgment will come to pass during the reign of Solomon's son Rehoboam when the king of, kingdom of Israel will split into two kingdoms. As Solomon had repented and put away all the false gods his wives drew, to, drew him to, it is quite possible at it is quite quite possible that Israel would have stayed in unity if only Solomon had repented and, and put away all those all those gods. So sin can rip away your ministry, it can rip away your relationships with other people, and sin can rip away your heavenly rewards. So sin will rob you. First Kings twelve, twenty five through thirty three, King James Version. Then Jeroboam built Shechem and Mount Ephraim and dwelt therein, and went out from thence and built Penuel. And Jeroboam said in his heart, Now shall the kingdom return to the house of David, if this people go to and sacrifice in the, in the house of the Lord at Jerusalem, then shall the heart of his people turn again unto the Lord. Even unto Rehoboam king of Judah, they shall kill me and go again to Rehoboam king of Judah. Whereupon the king took counsel and made two calves of uh, made two calves of gold and said unto them, It is uh, too it is too much for you to go in Jerusalem. Behold thy gods, O Israel, which have brought thee up out of Egypt, out of the land of Egypt. And he set the one in Bethel and the other one in Dan. And this thing became a sin. For the people went to worship before the one, even unto Dan, and he made an house of high praises, made priests of the lowest of people, which were not of the sons of Levi. And Jeroboam ordered a, or, ordained a feast in the eighth month, on the fifteenth day of the month, like unto the feast that is in Judah, and he offered upon the altar. So did he in Bethel, sacrificing unto the calves that he had made. And he placed in Bethel the priests of the high places which he had made. So he made upon the altar which he had made in Bethel the fifteenth day of the eighth, eighth month, even in the month that which he devised his own heart, uh, ordained a feast unto the children of uh, Israel, and he offered up the altar of burnt incense. Woo! Long scripture. Now Satan is not merely interested in robbing you of the favor of God. He intends to keep you out of the favor of God and, and the will of God. He wants to make you a resident of the community of hell. He wants you as a trophy in hell. He sure loves the apostolic trophies who have once had the Holy Ghost. Oh yeah, we are the big prize he desires. He is, he is looking to cause us to backslide gradually out of the will of God. It is always gradual as more and more sin takes up room in our temples. And the Spirit of the Lord cannot dwell where there is abundant sin. So when sin corrupts our temple, the Holy Ghost will leave us like it left King Saul, if we do not repent. Jeroboam wanted to keep Israel from getting back to where they were before the sin crept in. He created two golden calves, secret sin in the, the idols over there. <clears throat> he designed a convenient religion with golden calves to spiritually sedate Israel. Like Jeroboam, Satan has crept in and built altars to golden calves 
nor reach his spot in the flesh and in our secret places. 